Hey guys, Josh again. Unreal Engine 4 material tutorial number five. Uh, I'm actually going to talk about something pretty cool this time called UV mapping. I've been asked a couple questions in the uh, Project Torture Facebook page messaging center area. So, um, also, by the way, we're not going to be doing too many more material tutorials for a little bit. We're going to show you some logic and cascade and th how to make things move and look pretty and sparkle and just all kinds of different, different stuff. So you'll see. There'll be plenty. So I hope you guys enjoy it. But anyway, one more time here, materials. Let's um, talk about a couple things. In Blender, you remember the grabbing, the rotating, the scaling. It's all right here. These three settings. I can grab it on either axis, move it around. I can rotate it on either axis, which is, you know, pretty useful. You know, depending and then I can scale it which is one we're really going to play with and I don't mean like this because you know you can really make things look awful but that's fun but if you grab it here we're just going to make the entire thing scaling it on all three axes is bigger or smaller now this can be problematic and I'm gonna explain why so let's go ahead and get started I've got our little rock here we need to create a material material we're gonna name it rock there it is we've done this a hundred times let's do it again so we're gonna go in here and we're going to drag in our two images. I have a rock texture, and then I have that texture's normal, so a rock normal. And like we've done this in our past videos, we're gonna plug this into base color, we're gonna plug the normal into this one, and it's gonna create the, here's faking our ridges, here's faking our texture, bam, we've got this look. We're just gonna go ahead and apply this to the rock, and I'm gonna show you guys, you know, it's awesome. It's not that good, but it's pretty good. Um, you know, here's our little detailed rock, it doesn't look bad, the texture definitely fit around it decently. Here's a problem. We need this rock to be gargantuan, like, you know, like a titan walking through here. We're like, bam, take that. Uh, the issue is, and now don't get me wrong, it's still going to load these images. Give it just a quick second. From a distance, yeah, looks great, right? But a little big, and as you get close, it looks like I drew it. And you, and you, and you, and you don't want me to draw it because it's going to look bad. So we're going to shrink it back down and act like I never did that. So here's a little trick. This is something a lot of people know. We're going to type in the word texture coordinate. So texture and then just the letter C and you can pull it up like this. And you can see these little UV inputs and outputs. Well, we're going to plug those in here and it's set to one. One is how many times the material is wrapping around the object. So if I crank it to 12 and 12, you can see it multiply or wrapping around it. Now, we're not going to, we're not going to overdo it, but we may do six and six. So let's look and see what our material looks like now on top of this rock. It'll update, it'll update, you know, constantly. So we'll see it here. And you can see there's more ridges. There's more going on. It may look a little more copied, you know, but, you know, it's just, it's just a trick. It's just, you know, something to keep in mind what you can do. Now that we size it up, it's not as bad. But I think we can all agree that if we size up large enough, it's going to get super unclear again. And y'all are going to think I drew it. And I'm just, I'm not okay with that because I'm a horrible artist. So this is a little trick I know. And I'm showing only you guys, and you can't tell anyone, and it's a huge secret, and I'm super excited about it. Okay, but seriously, we're just going to unplug everything and start from scratch. Right-click on this and convert to texture object. Do the same thing here. Right-click and convert to texture object. Okay, so we need what's called world align texture. Just another node, so type in world, and press the letter A, and I can't spell, so I'll try a second time. There it is, world align texture. You're gonna need two of them, so go ahead and just control W if you'd like and have yourself another one. And we'll plug this one into here. And then it's XYZ into the base collar. And then we'll plug this one into here and it's XYZ. Oh, calm down, calm down. It's XYZ into the normal. Now this right here, the texture size, that's what we want to affect. So I'm gonna press hold the number one for just one constant number that I need to use. And I'm gonna plug it into both of these. Now see what it does as soon as it's plugged in here. As soon as it's plugged in here. Oh yes, nothing. It's not wrapping it any. I want to set it to a resolution. Power of two, 1024. So this is what you've got. It's wrapped around that a certain way. Now I'm going to show you, you see the network here, nothing too complicated. I'm going to show you what happens now. We're going to go look at our rock and I'm going to scale this thing up. And let's just see what this thing does. There's our rock. And now that when I scale it, watch what happens. Oh yeah. See what's going on there? Huh? You see what I've done? No, it doesn't look great. But I mean, the point is, this is a really neat little trick that you can probably use to learn to size your images because by holding alt, you can just drag and you have another rock and you're like, I don't need that one to be that big. You need it to be kind of like this. And then you, you know, you, you drag one up here and you, and you put it down like this, but you're like, I need it to be bigger like this. 
and maybe like this and like you just do different things and as you can tell it's all going to scale correctly and you know i'm i'm far from the perfectionist but i will say this is a neat trick so you guys use it come up with cooler techniques for it than i have because it's something new to me but anyway that's uv mapping a simple way of playing with it and helping yourself it's best to lay out your uv maps in blender or whatever modeling software you're using blender maya you know 3d 3ds max whatever but this is a way of helping, especially if you're doing stuff that's not very symmetrical or repetitive, like rocks, if you want it to be super random. So this was, you know, this is this is a good little trick. I hope you guys had fun learning it. Uh, we're going to jump into some new, really cool things in Blueprints, or Unreal Tune with Blueprints, and this thing called Cascade. It's a part, or it's a... They have different types of systems inside here, like for particle systems and editing your animations and like all kinds of cool stuff. And I'm going to walk you guys through it. So I hope you guys learned a little something. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.